So we're having students track their own fitness data. Um, we began this last year and we used a data wall where every six weeks we did three different fitness tests, curl ups, push ups and pacer tests and they put their score up on one large wall almost like a collage. This year we're using the individual fitness tracker in order to track their data so they can individually see what they get each time. Also to help them remember before the next test what they had in order to set goals to beat that score. During the course of this year, we've noticed that our girls have been more self-motivated to do the workouts during the fitness gram test. We've also noticed that during the class period, during our workouts, they're more motivated knowing that at the next six weeks that they want to do better on their fitness scores. We've had students come up and um, be excited about their scores, show us that their growth, had students ask us about does this help them get into athletics, so it's that internal motivation that it's really helped. So during our instruction um, using the Lion Tracker, we still have the girls go through the same workouts. We still focus on sports specific skills. Um, however, our instruction has changed the most based on teaching the reflection piece on the tracker. So they compare their scores throughout each six weeks and then they write a reflection on what that means to them. What do the scores mean to them as well as how are they going to improve for the next six weeks. And we have them focus on not necessarily things they can do in PE, but what are they gonna do outside of PE at home to help those scores go up. So we started out talking about a reflection that it was about themselves, but we didn't give them a lot of guidance. Um, we, our reflections were not very good. So then the second time they reflected, we gave them sentence stems and really helped guide their reflections so they would understand what we're looking for. The, on our third reflection that we just completed, um, we told them to use that guidance, but then to put some of their own personal qualities into it and think more like, how would you talk to your friends on social media? That's what you're telling us about yourself in, in regards to reflection. So don't think about it as what does Coach Menchaca want? What does Coach Warden want? But what do you want us to know about you and put your own voice into the reflection? So we had, we've gone from you know, some rough reflections to our reflections have come a long ways and they've become a lot more personal to them.